Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is an update to my 500-gallon uh, display tank. Um, as I said, I, I had neglected it for a while, and these are my procedures to get the tank back up and rolling and back on track. Um, the first thing I had to do was because the last video I did, I didn't clean the glass. So I basically scraped all the algae and coralline algae off the uh, acrylic on all four sides. So that's why this tank is much clearer than you normally see it. Now, the first thing I want to do is test. But I couldn't test because I went down and my Jabal took a dump. It was inoperable. So nothing was being dosed in the tank. So I went on Amazon and found a same day delivery and actually purchased a brand new uh, doser. Then I uh, calibrated. So after about a week, I started testing. And usually that's what lets you know where your numbers are. See what's, you know, what causes dying. It could be anything. But my, in my case, it was my alkalinity that jumped up between 8.5 all the way up to 11. So um, during that time, I cut down on the alkalinity until it got stable. And pretty much everything that's online. Uh, now, here's the thing that I hate about bare bottom tanks. I love them. But I hate them, and this is why. I don't know if it's because of the flow or what, but the coralline algae that was growing on the bottom panel started lifting. And when I put my hand in there to remove the lift, the lifted pieces, there was a bunch of detritus hidden underneath the coralline algae. When I mean a lot of detritus was hidden under the coralline algae. So my next mission is on my uh, next water change is to crack all that lifted coralline algae up into small pieces as much as possible while the flow is off. And when I do my water change, I'm just going to siphon everything up and just hopefully start all over again or just remove it as it goes. So, you know, with bare bottom tanks, it's a love, love, hate situation. Also, during the time of the failure of my tank, my protein skimmer wasn't producing enough bubbles. Um, I called Royal Exclusive, and um, they sent me a new impeller. Well, first, I cleaned it first. I, I used uh, citric acid to clean it, and then when it didn't work, they sent me a brand new impeller. When they sent me the brand new impeller and I installed it, I still got the same results. I wasn't producing as many bubbles as I thought. It should be even cleaned out the um, the Ventura and the, the holes leading to the Ventura. So they had to end up sending me a whole new pump controller and everything. And now this is the protein skimmer at full force. Um, I'm glad it's back to skimming like it, it is. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I believe uh, this will help bring down my nitrates and phosphates along with my algae scrubber. And I can't be much happier. So give me your opinions. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Leave a comment below. Y'all be out. Peace.